My name is Stephen Cushing, and I'm the treasurer on the board of NAMA. From all of us at the New England Seafarers Mission in the Port of Boston, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Michelle DePooter. I currently serve as the Vice President on the NAMA Board. From all of us here at the Montreal Seafarer Centre, I want to wish each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I am Deacon Paul Rosenblum from Charleston, South Carolina, and I serve as President of the NAMA Board. From all of us at Stella Maris and the Charleston Port and Seafarer Society, I want to wish you a blessed and Merry Christmas and a happy and peaceful new year. I'm Dana Bloom and I'm the secretary of the NAMA board and the executive director for the Houston International Seafarer Center. And all the way from Houston, I wanna wish each and every one of you Merry Christmas and a happy new year. I have been attending the NAMA conference for 10 years now, and it is always a highlight of the year for me. The conference is in a sense, uh, the hub of all we do. It pulls together all of the other programs that NAMA offers its members the Maori Report, Maori Training, our online prayer meetings, everything that NAMA does seems to come together when we gather as a group. It is a great opportunity for all of us to learn from the speakers and panelists, and I always come away with something that helps me understand more about the life of seafarers, how the maritime industry works, and how I can be more effective in ministering to the women and men who I meet every day in Charleston. But I really think the most important thing about the conference is the chance for fellowship with colleagues and friends from ports across the US, Canada, and the Caribbean. These casual, impromptu meetings at coffee breaks and over meals offer us a chance to share stories of success and failure, to learn from each other, and most importantly, support each other in our work. That is truly an invaluable asset that we all have at the conference. I also wanted to remind you all how important the Houston School that NAMA puts on is for all new chaplains. So if you have anyone who's a new chaplain or a ship visitor and would like to learn the ins and outs of doing that and how important it is to network and grow your network of chaplains and ship visitors around the world like no other place can do, then join us for the Houston School in February. You know, for the past several years, NAMA has been a very prominent presence at the Connecticut Maritime Association Conference held in Stamford, Connecticut. With our presence there and with Jason bringing forth the, the strong issues before the industry partners and government officials, we are able to present a united front. We are able to put forward the needs of seafarers, whether they be medical or social or life on board the ship. By acting collectively through our voice at NAMA, we are able to let industry and government know that the seafarer has a voice that he can count on. NAMA has had a long-standing partnership with ICMA, and it's been very useful, I think, because it allows us to work with organizations from around the world and better understand the challenges that our colleagues in other parts of the world face. By seeing how they function, it gives us here in North America a better perspective on effective maritime ministry. This partnership also helps us to better appreciate the importance of ecumenical relationships in seafarers ministry. Our organization, NAMA itself, fosters an ecumenical approach, but seeing this on a broader worldwide scale helps us in our efforts to promote ecumenism in our own organization. One of the things that's happened with NAMA members over the past uh, couple of years has been involvement on the Canadian National Seafarers Welfare Board. This board was begun two years ago and we meet every uh, two months approximately uh, with people from all sectors of the maritime industry, so ship owners, labor, other uh, seafare missions, and uh, government. And it's been a wonderful opportunity to meet together and discuss from these different perspectives the needs of seafarers' welfare.